One local mom got a pretty special Mother's Day gift this year. She gave birth to not one, not two, not even three babies, all four in one day. We've been following the Scott family's journey since they found out they'd be having those quadruplets. And last week, Hazel, Chase, Scarlett, and Paisley were born, joining big sister Savannah. So I caught up with the parents over Zoom to see how the family's doing. Well, mom and dad, thanks so much for joining us. Got to start by saying you look fantastic. And how are you feeling? Tired. <laughs> We're doing good, though. You delivered last week, and it was a scheduled C-section. So how did it go, and, and what happened? We had 25 people in the operating room, four, four people per kid, plus the, um, the doctors and nurses that were uh, working with Brittany. I was awake the entire time, so it was very emotional. You heard the first baby cry as they started pulling them out. How are the babies doing right now? Yeah, all four of them are doing well. Um, they were all right around four pounds when they came out. None of them needed any breathing support or anything. So they're just, uh, just everything that they were either hooked up to or being worked on was all normal for early children. So. Are they in the NICU still? Yes, yeah, they'll probably be in there for a week or two just to grow. And uh, there's certain check boxes they have to hit before they are able to come home. They had a nurse set up to catch each baby and then take it. And the one was telling us how she weighed Paisley and measured her head. And the doctor comes over and she says, I, I think you did this wrong. She's too big. There were four in there. Mom, how are you feeling now? I, you know, I had a, a slow recovery. It was, it's a normal C-section, but because there was four, there's a little bit more of a, you know, aftermath of, you know, getting back to the, that normal feeling. So I'm doing good. I, you know, relaxing and we go up to the NICU once a day to visit them. So I do at least have a little bit of a break right now to recover before they come home. Once they come home, what is the plan for you guys? Do we have help already ready to step up? Yeah, we have, uh, our family lives really close. So like her parents, my mother, her grandparents, aunt and uncle, like cousins, they all live close. So they've all offered to come over and assist us, especially right in the beginning. Yeah, um, they're, they're excited to help. I, they said that when Savannah was born, they had to kind of fight over holding her, but we're like, you'll have plenty. Nobody has to fight over any babies. We have like a whiteboard that's going to track all of their different feeds, sleeps, um, you know, every time we bathe them. Justin's pretty much done with the nursery too. So we'll be excited to show you that. Oh, wonderful. Once you come back and visit them once they're all home. Great. Well, I can't wait to come see them in person. And I want to say congratulations to you guys from all of our viewers. Everybody has been sending their well wishes to you. Thank yes, you. We really appreciate all of the support and People reach out all the time just to see how we're doing. It's really comforting to know we have, you know, so many people that care and want to know. Well, you sure do. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Get some sleep, okay? You will. <laughs> right now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> now is the time to get sleep because the babies are in the NICU for the next one to two weeks, as he was saying, and then they're going to come home at some point. Just thinking about what that whiteboard looks like, there's going to be a lot of X's and O's, kind of <laughs> like one of those play charts when they're, you know, <laughs> using the dry erase board I know, marker. I know. Probably the best way to do it, if you've got multiple people, right, all working around, now you know Crazy. when each baby ate, how much they ate. The other thing is that there were 20 five people in the delivery room, kind of like an episode of Grey's Anatomy, we were saying. We were so, we were all talking about Grey's yeah. Anatomy yesterday. Ed and I were talking about that. Well, no kidding. I mean, it's carefully coordinated. It's like an elaborate dance. Yeah, absolutely. When you said 25, I said, did you say 25? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah Crazy. Well. Four for each baby, and then the rest to take care of. Glad they're doing well this morning. Yeah, and they're so cute. Can't Boy. wait to get there and hold them, Aaron. <laughs> well, congratulations, and uh, I wish you the best. This graphic, then, is for you for uh, Mother's Day. Let's take a look at your Mother's Day forecast for Sunday. During the morning, around 9 a.m., we'll have partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid-40s. You're going to take mom.